name is Jill Eckhart and I am the site director at Port Dodge Animal Health. For Port Dodge Animal Health is a veterinary pharmaceutical company um, that manufactures and distributes both over-the-counter and prescription um, drugs for your companion animals as well as your um, farm animals. Um, the site director uh, for Fort Dodge Animal Health is a position where you as an individual are responsible for everything that happens at your location. And so for me, um, it means that I'm responsible for the products we make, the production of those products. I'm responsible for the upkeep of the facility and the equipment we use. I'm responsible for the testing that goes on at this facility and the delivery of the product as well as not just the on-time delivery of the product, but the quality of the product that's leaving here. And so it's a very um, diverse type position where you have a multitude of gifted people reporting to you that are um, subject matter experts in their field. I will have maintenance reporting to me, engineering reporting to me, the production people reporting to me, the testing people reporting to me. So it's a very wide span job. Um, it probably goes by other titles for some companies, um, but it, they all basically do the same type of work that a site director would. I hired into Fort Dodge Animal Health in um, 1991 as a chemist. I was actually the water tester at the time. And over the course of the years, I've promoted through the analytical laboratory and into a variety of other um, departments within the company. And so to actually get to this position, it took me approximately 15 years. Where did you get your degree from and what was it in? After I graduated from high school, I um, enrolled in my local junior college. It had a very strong science and math um, base to it. I happened to know the professors that worked there. And um, I took two years of general classes there, which included my basic chemistry and my basic calculus class. And then I transferred to Iowa State University and finished out my education there and got a BS degree in chemistry with a minor in math. Education gave me the basic science background I needed to be employed by a company like Fort Dodge Animal Health and to get my career started. I don't believe that there's many classes that you can actually take that would prepare you for a site director position because so much of it is people skills and the majority of what I do now has to do with coordination and mentoring of people. Although the science background that I got was very, very good, um, I think one of the things that was missing is the fact that I should have taken, taken more classes that were relative to interpersonal relationships, things related to human resources and the handling of conflict and things like that. In addition to that, I, I think for anything, any position similar to mine, that it's imperative that um, people get a technical writing background. That's beneficial in just about anything you do. I wouldn't say I really fell into the position. Um, when I hired onto the company, I did have some management background from a previous job at petrochemical chemistry. However, I hired on at Fort Dodge Animal Health in the analytical services department, and I was the lowly water sampler, which meant my job consisted of every day going to the different water ports and sampling it and testing it. Um, but as the days went and weeks and months went on, um, my abilities became evident. And that's one thing I can say to most anyone who's working in a company. If you hire into a large company and you work hard and apply yourself every day, people will notice and other opportunities will come your way. And so as um, the time went on, I had opportunities to promote within the analytical services department and eventually became manager of the analytical services department. And um, then because of some of my problem solving skills um, and techniques, um, I was able to transfer 
outside of analytical services uh, into the production realm of things. And I transferred between a variety of departments. Um, the other thing that allowed me to get to this position was my willingness to work in a variety of departments. And by that I mean so often um, employees we find are not willing to transfer outside of their comfort zone. They're comfortable working in a specific department and doing one certain, certain thing, and they're very good at it. Um, but they're not willing to stretch their capabilities to find out what else they are good at. And uh, I've been very, very fortunate here in that I was allowed to work in just about every department at this site except for maintenance. Um, I actually think I could do maintenance, but they've never given me a chance to do that. Um, but because of that, um, it opened up a wide variety of opportunities. So I, I really think that's important for young people as they hire into any large company is that if you're willing to take the opportunities that are put before you, even um, if it's not a promotion, even if it's a lateral transfer, that it will benefit you in the long run. The people. I um, thoroughly enjoy uh, the aspect of my job that centers around mentoring and developing people. One of my greatest accomplishments and the things I get most fulfillment out is when I can see one of my um, direct reports that I've been working with get promoted and uh, they usually have to leave out from under my part of the organization when that happens and so that's a little sad um, but it's great to see them develop and fine-tune their skills to the point that they can take on more responsibilities. You know I do. Most people can't say that they like their job every day and every day is not a wonderful day but every day is a challenging day for me and I realize I have this incredible responsibility to lead the people into a position such that our company continues to be profitable and so um, it's a very exciting time for me. That's a challenge for me and I think it's a challenge for any individual that gets to my level of a position and um, you just have to make the time. Although I do work long hours, my evenings are free and I don't let it I don't let my job interfere with what's important to me. So if I have um, something I need to do in the evening or want to do with my family, I just give it a priority. Yes, it has. I've been very fortunate in that I can have been allowed to do some traveling as a result of working for the pharmaceutical company. I've been able to go to um, three different countries and do some auditing and inspection as well as training um, for sister companies that are associated with my pharmaceutical company. So it's been a great opportunity for me. Can you give any examples? Yes, I've been able to go to Catania, Italy, which is on the little island of Sicily, um, where I was invited to go to help them with the startup of a new facility. I've also been able to go to Argentina and to um, Mexico to facilitate some audits and inspections that occurred in those facilities. Yes, there is. Every company is in the need of a director type person who can manage the facility and be the leader of the facility so they can drive it to new levels of excellence. And so that kind of a position and this kind of work will never go away. I guess the words of wisdom that I have to offer would be that you need to work hard. Every single day you need to work hard and not take your job for granted. Um, the people that will advance in any business are those that are willing to do the 110% every day, even if what they're asked to do is below their job or below their job title. It will all be recognized. And the other thing that I would point out is stand by, be, be ethical, stand by your integrity. It's very important that you're honest and forthright. Um, nothing will help people, your bosses and their bosses, recognize the talent that you have and what you have to offer the company quicker than if you are an ethical and you have high integrity. So good luck. <laughs>